guys, Keithy Six here of Metal Detecting in Alaska. I'm just on the outskirts of Fairbanks in the surrounding hills. And I brought my Bounty Hunter Time Ranger Pro. I'm going to give it a try on finding some Alaskan Gold Rush relics. Pretty peaceful here. I could just sit here all day. All right, so let's get this uh, detector put together to see what we can find. Well, the beavers have made a nice little trail through here going over to this what's actually a mine shaft full of water. I guess they're using it as their own private pool. <clears throat> well I got a really deep target here. This water is up really really high because of the beavers got everything dammed up and I guess I'm making one of them mad right there he is. He's been swimming around here making all kinds of noise and slapping his tail on the water. He's pretty mad at me. Uh, hopefully he stays away. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a target here. I'm not sure what it is. It's pinging up like a 55 all the way up to 70 back and forth. So I'm just trying to get down to it and see what it is. Well, look at this. I dug all the way up to my elbow. And there's a bunch of little pieces of scrap metal like this. So that's a waste of time. All right, guys. I had a big iron target and I started digging. I always dig up the iron targets because I never want to miss out on something like this. I do believe I have just found a miner's pick from the Alaska Gold Rush. Unbelievable. All right, let's see if we can pull this out. Right. Score. Look at this, guys. A miner's pick from the Alaskan Gold Rush. Oh, man. I tell you, the Bounty Hunter Time Ranger Pro just zoned right in on this thing, man. It was giving me such a great signal. Wow, that is awesome. That totally made worth coming all the way out in the woods for, it was totally worth it. Oh, wow. All right, now I gotta carry it. All right, so let's put this in the pack and we'll look a little longer until my back starts hurting. <laughs> Well, the beavers are working hard on that tree. Look at these little logs the beavers left behind. old trap. It's already been sprung, so that's good. This place is littered with old cans right here. Maybe I'll find something good.
Ooh. Oh, check this out, guys. I got an old buckle. Sweet. Look at that. I think the thing still moves, too. Nice. All right, let's keep looking. Dug up a whole bunch of pieces of old cans here so far, and then this popped up. Sweet. <laughs> Look at this. Just found an old can opener. Nice. Found an old fire grate. That had a strong signal. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, man, I never expected to find anything like that. Wow. I got to put my glasses on and check that out. I lost it. <laughs> There it is. Oh, it says teacher. Wow, and it's got, even got diamonds. It's got a, a DM on the back of it. Hey, that sure looks like silver to me, doesn't it? All right, we'll clean it up and look it over. Good, but look at that, man. Awesome. That's the great thing about metal detecting. You know, you just never know what you're going to find. Wow, I'm blown away. All right, let's keep looking. Having a great day so far with the Time Ranger Pro. Ah, there you go, trash. Just tinfoil. But you gotta dig those targets, or you might be missing something good. Well, I've been metal detecting, but at the same time, I brought my bottle probe, and I found this, what looks to be like some kind of old privy. And of course, I started tapping around probing, and uh, I hit glass in a couple places. So let's see what we can find here. Let's try the first one here. Guys, you guys see this? Look. Look at that. Oh, come on. Please be whole. Please be whole. Oh, it is. It is. It's whole. And it's a corker. Wow. Awesome. Wow. All right, I'm excited to see what the other one is now. Sweet. All right, it looks like it's in good shape. Oh, 
All right. Sweet. Move around that spot and see if there's anything else. It doesn't seem to be. All right, let's try the other spot. It's over here somewhere. Right there. All right, guys, look at this. You see the top of a bottle there? Look at that. Come on, be whole. Oh, it's an old ink bottle. An old ink well. Sweet. All right. I'm having the best day. I found a couple cool relics with my Time Ranger Pro, and then I probed a couple old bottles from the Gold Rush. Sweet. All right. I'm going to probe around in this hole and see if there's anything else. And I'll get back with you if there is. So I've got another target right here. And there's a point. I don't think that it's a another pick just because the point is too fine. Oh, it's an old file. Sweet. I have found so many of these things. People make knives out of these old files. I hear it's, they're made from good steel. Sweet. Other than a little rusty, it don't look too bad. All right. All right, so I'm working my way out of the woods and back to the car. So we'll see what we can find between here and there. Well, guys, I guess that's going to do it for me. This pack is getting pretty heavy. Those miners' pick aren't, picks aren't light. So let's go ahead and head home, get something to eat. It's going to be getting dark here pretty soon. And let's get ready for the roundup. Well, hey guys, welcome to my roundup. Here's everything I found today with my Bounty Hunter Time Ranger Pro. I tell you, I'm so excited I found this. I love finding these old mining picks. One day I'd like to restore one of these and put a handle on it. But check that out, isn't that beautiful? This is probably my best relic so far with that Time Ranger Pro, love it. Then I found this old file always find a lot of these. I think they used these to keep things sharp. And then, let's see, I found this old church key bottle and can opener. Look at the angle on the back of that. It's got some writing on it. I'll have to look and see what that says. Then I found this old buckle. I love finding these old buckles. I don't know if this was a buckle, a buckle off somebody's belt or off maybe a horse strap or whatever, but it's cool to think that somebody might have worn this around their waist during the gold rush. And then I found these two bottles while probing an old, what was probably a privy hole, an old outhouse hole. And check out the color on this one. Nice old cork top. You can see where it must have had a label or something because there's no embossing, but it has a five on the bottom. And then I found this old Schaefer Script Inkwell. And it has a one on the bottom. Nice. I love finding the glass too. 
And probably the weirdest thing I found was this teacher's pendant. Now this has to be a more modern relic that was dropped. Uh, probably by somebody that was going down to the edge of that creek to go fishing. I don't see any silver markings on it, but it does have like a copyright in a circle, and then it says DM. And then it says teacher, an angel holding a red apple. And it had these little stones, so I tested them with my diamond tester, and they are not real. Alright, so awesome finds. Tearing it up with this new Bounty Hunter Time Ranger Pro. No problem at all finding cool relics. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to this weekend and going back out. Now that I've found a pretty good spot, let's see what else we can find out there. All right, guys, till next time, I hope you all have good luck and happy hunting. See you later from Alaska. Mm -hmm.